Hey boys and girls, I am going to show you how to do an untethered jailbreak of iOS 5.1.1. First what you want to do is upgrade your device to iOS 5.1.1. Once you've done that, Google iOS 5.1.1 untethered jailbreak. I'm going to be going in this case to the Redmond uh, Pi link. Once I click on that, I will be scrolling down the page to download AbSynth 2.0 from here. That will be the program that I'll be using to download to jailbreak. After I click on that, I scroll down. And I'm going to choose download 2.0.4 for Windows. A B S I N T H E. 2.0.4 for Windows. Once I've downloaded the file, it's a zip file. In the zip file, you have these two, including a README. You drag this executable to the folder where you plan on extracting all the files. Here's the file that I extracted. Double click on it. I'm going to run. You see all those files are extracting. Created a new folder called absinthwin2.04. From there, I just simply run the executable. And then Click jailbreak. I have my iPhone connected right now. I have a jack to my computer. This is my first time doing this, by the way. So I don't know how long this is going to take or the specifics as to what may happen. Sending initial jailbreak data. So far, nothing is happening on the iPhone itself that I can see. Still a black screen. I apologize for the for the flickering, by the way. Sending final jailbreak data. Your device will appear to be restoring a backup. This may take a while. Restore in progress. Restore complete. Not done yet. Don't unplug yet. I have the squirrely bar. Let's see if I can show both these simultaneously. Okay. C uh, Cydia should be at the end somewhere, I'm guessing. It says waiting for process to complete. I don't see Cydia yet. So it's probably still installing it. There we go. It's doing something. All 
Alright, it says that it's done. There we have it, Cydia. It's a pretty painless process so far. All I had to do was make sure that my device was already on iOS 5.11. I did that by going to iTunes on my computer and updating it from there. You could also do it directly from your phone. If your phone is already jailbroken, you might not be able to do it from the phone itself. So you might have to go to iTunes to upgrade your phone to 5.1.1 from there. Once you're on 5.1.1, you simply follow the process that I explained, and you'll be good to go. This is the very first time I've seen preparing following system uh, when running Cydia. I've done a few jailbreaks in the past from iOS 3 through iOS 4, a couple versions of iOS 4 and iOS 5. And this is a regular iPhone 4. It's not a 4S. But this jailbreak will work on most any iOS device, though. So it's pretty good. If you have an iPhone 4S, you're good to go. I believe it works on uh, iPad 3 as well. Let's do user. And we're in Cydia. as easy as that. Enjoy your new jailbreak, jailbroken phones, guys.